hate it or love it, there's no denying that electric vehicles are here to stay. Now, I already see a ton of electric vehicles on the road today, but even better, there are so many exciting EVs that are expected to debut this year. So in this video, I'll go over the top 10 brand new electric vehicles that I'm looking forward to the most in 2023. Now, this list is sorted by price from lowest to highest. Now, even though this first vehicle is the most affordable, it's also the coolest and most futuristic vehicle on this list with its curvy three-wheel design that looks like a spaceship with tires. The Aptera starts around $26,000 and is the first solar electric vehicle that can require no charging for most daily use. The Aptera is all about energy efficiency, which I absolutely love because that's what the ultimate goal is for electric vehicles, to eventually use less and less energy for the transportation. Now, the Aptera Solar EV can be configured to go up to 1,000 miles on a full charge, which is absolutely insane and makes it the world's most efficient vehicle due to its aerodynamic design, its lightweight materials, its motors that are built into the wheels, and its solar recharging capabilities. Aptera's unique diamond-shaped solar panels maximize the energy it can get from the sun, which gives fully equipped vehicles 700 watts of continuous charging power, whether it's driving or parked. Now, this means it can regain up to 40 miles of driving range each day from its built-in solar panels, so if you drive 40 miles or less per day on average, you could technically drive for free. It also comes with 25 cubic feet of rear storage and a surprising 0 to 60 speed of 3.5 seconds. Now, this is still a pre production vehicle, and I'm still curious to see how this handles cold winters and what the safety rating eventually is. But based on what Aptera is showing us, this could possibly be the best commuter vehicle ever made. And yes, I have a reservation for one myself, and hopefully, we see official customer deliveries this year. Fisker is a brand you may have heard of before in the EV space. After their failed hybrid called the Karma from 10 years ago, they are back in the game with an all-electric SUV called the Ocean that looks really nice and starts around $38,000 for the base sport model, which comes with single motor front wheel drive and a range of 250 miles on a full charge, but can be configured for up to 350 miles with the hyper range battery option. Now, other than the atrocious Fisker logo, the Ocean itself looks very sleek and modern with some promising features for an electric SUV. Similar to Aptera, but not quite on the same level, the Fisker Ocean Extreme model offers a full-length solar roof option that can produce up to 1,500 clean emissions-free miles per year when fully exposed to the sun. It also has V2X technology, so the battery acts as a multifunction mobile power source for emergency power to run an entire home, for example, for up to seven days. And the optional 17.1 inch center touchscreen inside can rotate and swivel from a portrait view to a landscape widescreen format, which is pretty unique. And a feature called California mode allows you to lower the front windows, both rear seat windows, both rear doggy windows next to the D-pillar and the rear lift gate window while opening the solar sky roof all at the same time with just a push of a single button, which transforms this SUV into a cruising convertible. Now, hopefully the ocean can turn into the success that they thought the Karma would be. Next is a vehicle that was revealed over three years ago and should finally come out this year. Yes, the futuristic Tesla Cybertruck with its unorthodox styling but very promising features. It starts around $41,000 for the single motor version, but that will be produced last after the more expensive dual motor and tri-motor versions. Now, the Cybertruck boasts some of the most impressive features out of any pickup truck, electric or gas. It has an impenetrable exoskeleton made of ultra-hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel and ultra-strong Tesla armor glass that can absorb high impact force. Now, during the Cybertruck reveal event in 2019, I was able to take a test ride in this, and this truck is huge inside and out. It can sit up to six people, can tow up to 14,000 pounds, has 100 cubic feet of lockable storage and all of the storage spaces combined, including an automatic to no cover that is strong enough to stand on, which goes over the six and a half foot bed, which Tesla calls the vault. And it has a payload capacity up to 3,500 pounds with adjustable air suspension. It has a versatile utilitarian design, including a 17 inch touchscreen display, onboard power and compressed air, and the full battery range goes from 250 miles on the cheapest version to over 500 miles on the most expensive, and this truck is quicker than most high-end performance sports cars coming in with a 0-60 to speed under 3 seconds on the tri-motor all-wheel drive version. And like all Tesla vehicles that come standard with autopilot, which is Tesla's advanced driver assistance system, 
and quite possibly its best feature is it has access to over 40,000 global Tesla superchargers, which can charge up to 1,000 miles of range regained per hour of charging time. Now, you can love or hate the looks all you want, but the Cybertruck's utility and performance are hard to ignore. Now, some people still think electric vehicles are a fad, but the Tesla Model Y recently became the best-selling car in all of Europe, even during a painful economic year, and the Model Y isn't the only example of coming through during a crisis. Since telling you guys about today's sponsor, Masterworks, the results have been extraordinary. Nine total sales this year, including one just a few days ago, for a 35% net return. And when I talked about Masterworks, I knew it was unique, but amazingly, all of their exits so far are for profit. Look at this, 35, 10, 13, 17, and 21% net returns all in the last few months. Masterworks lets you invest in legendary artwork like Picasso and Banksy for a fraction of the full price. And this is not NFTs. Masterworks offerings are all registered with the SEC, which I've linked to in the description. With over 600,000 users, Masterworks has been featured in TechCrunch, CNBC, and Forbes, and the Banksy art they recently launched sold out in hours. But if you click my link in the description, your account will be preloaded with priority access. This next vehicle is the only other truck on this list, the first ever Chevrolet Silverado EV that starts around $42,000 and should be available in late 2023. Chevy has been a longtime player in the EV space with their successful Bolt EV, but now they are making a statement by electrifying the second best-selling vehicle in America, the popular Silverado pickup truck. Now, if you're turned off by the looks of the Tesla Cybertruck and want a more sleek traditional style, but with similar utility and power, the Silverado EV can go up to 400 miles of estimated range on a full charge, has up to 754 horsepower and zero to 60 speed under 4.5 seconds. The Silverado EV will offer up to 14 available camera views and up to 10,000 pounds of max towing and up to 20,000 pounds available on a future WT model. It also has Super Cruise Driver Assistance technology for hands-free driving across 200,000 miles of compatible roads in the US and Canada. And the flashy interior sports a 17-inch diagonal, freeform screen, built-in Google integration, and a panoramic fixed glass roof brings an open, bright, and roomy feel to the cabin while filtering the sun's rays. It can even fit items up to 10 feet, 10 inches long with the optional multi-flex mid-gate with pass-through and the multi-flex tailgate that has six different functions, making it super easy to load, unload, and access the cargo bed. With this modern aerodynamic design, the Chevy Silverado EV is bound to be a hit amongst truck owners who are tired of paying for expensive gas. Now this next vehicle is probably the one I'm most excited for because it's the only sedan on this list and really the Tesla Model 3's first true competition. This is the Hyundai Ioniq 6, which starts around $44,000 and it's the successor to last year's wildly successful Ioniq 5, which was praised by its owners and won multiple awards, including 2022 World Car of the Year and Car and Drivers 2022 EV of the Year. So the Ioniq 6 comes with a lot of hype, but it looks like it should live up to it. Now, you may easily love or just as easily hate the curvy styling and teardrop shape of this Ionic 6, but I'm personally a fan. It gives me a Porsche vibe, but the most exciting features are the performance and tech. It comes standard with a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack that can go up to 340 miles of estimated range on a full charge on their single motor rear wheel drive version. And with the optional dual motor all wheel drive version, it's zero to 60 speed is 5.1 seconds, but maybe even better, it can charge up to 350 kilowatts on a DC fast charger and can potentially charge from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. And although the front trunk is much smaller than the Tesla Model 3, the Ionic 6 offers a more luxurious interior. The modern and spacious interior contains side-by-side -side screens, a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, and a 12.3 inch infotainment screen. And the Ionic 6 uses the same software as other Hyundai models, which incorporate Blue Link for connectivity functions and link with smartphones using either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And as a conventional four-door sedan, it offers space for five people across two rows of seating. And Hyundai also worked hard to make this a quiet cabin with several layers of sound deadening material packed between the floor and the carpeting. And with one of the best warranties in the auto industry, Hyundai is determined to make this a smash hit, and I'm super excited to see these hit the road. Now, the second Chevrolet on this list is the highly anticipated Chevy Blazer EV, which starts around $45,000 and is aiming to be a fierce competitor to the Tesla Model Y and Ford Mustang Mach-E. This sporty midsize SUV has pretty aggressive exterior styling and offers flexibility and charging speeds, 
range and performance with up to 320 miles of estimated range on a full charge and a zero to 60 speed in under four seconds on the top of the line SS model, which is impressively right up there with the quickness of a performance Tesla Model Y. Now the Blazer EV will be capable of charging on a DC fast charger at up to 190 kilowatts and add about 78 miles of range in just 10 minutes. Now the Blazer EV offers two rows of seating and it features a sporty interior design with an 11 inch diagonal driver information screen and a 17.7 inch diagonal display screen. And just like the Silverado EV, the Blazer EV has the option of Chevy Super Cruise Advanced Driver Assistance System. It also comes with 59.2 cubic feet of total cargo volume with the seats folded, which is on the higher end of most electric SUVs on the market today. And it seems that Chevy really wanted to make this Blazer EV be quick and fast and sporty, but they also wanted to look that part too with the lighting animations and race car style inspirations like the flat bottom steering wheel, the round air vents, and the red interior option on the higher end versions this should be a great option for SUV buyers. Now, after the Aptera and Ionic 6, this is the next vehicle that I'm most excited to see in 2023, the Kia EV9. This is estimated to start around $50,000, but Kia has not released final pricing, and right now it's still listed as a concept vehicle on their website, even though it's supposed to debut this year. And the EV9 was revealed at the 2021 LA Auto Show, and it looks to be the electric version of the extremely popular Kia Telluride SUV. Now, from what the concept shows, it has a bold futuristic styling on the inside and out and promises to feature a third row capability that seats up to six people, a large panoramic sunroof, a solar panel built into the hood, and an interior made from sustainable materials that includes a pop-up steering wheel and an enormous 27-inch ultra-wide display, although we don't know which of these features will be standard or optional or which of these features will even make it to the final release. Kia also claims a 300 mile driving range for the EV9 and the ability to charge at 350 kilowatt fast charging stations. But aside from what we know the final features will be or not, this looks to be an amazing budget friendly option for people who need a large SUV for families and should be strong competition to the Tesla Model X and the Rivian R1S. This vehicle is sure to turn some heads. Now we're getting into the luxury vehicles on this list, starting with the long-awaited Cadillac Lyric, which starts around $63,000 and is the first ever all-electric Cadillac. The Lyric SUV has been designed from the ground up to ride on General Motors' new scalable Ultium battery platform. It comes in both single-motor rear-wheel drive and dual-motor all-wheel drive models with up to 312 miles of estimated range on a full charge, and just like the Blazer EV, it can charge up to 190 kilowatts on a DC fast charger. It has a modern and sharp style featuring a sloping full glass roof and an interior power sunshade. Now, although the dual motor variant will be undoubtedly quick compared to any of its gas competitors, the Lyric prioritizes luxury and comfort over performance. It has an elegantly designed interior with ambient lighting and a stunning 33 inch diagonal curved LED display capable of 9K resolution. It also has quite the generous cargo volume at around 61 cubic feet with the seats folded down. It offers Super Cruise, the first true hands-free driver assistance technology, and has built-in Google apps with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It even features next-generation active noise cancellation that measures road vibration and uses the AKG speaker system to actively cancel road noise. That paired with the acoustic laminated glass solidifies a comfortable, quiet driving experience. I'm super excited to see the Cadillac Lyric splash onto the EV scene this year. Now up next is the impressive Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV that starts around $75,000 with its sporty exterior that emphasizes aerodynamics with an estimated 300 miles of driving range on a full charge. It has a max charging rate of 170 kilowatts at a DC fast charger, which can charge the battery from 10 to 80% in about 32 minutes. It's available in single motor rear wheel drive and dual motor all wheel drive, and Mercedes equips all models with an impressive list of standard equipment, including a panoramic sunroof, 19 inch wheels, interior ambient lighting, a premium stereo system with Dolby tuning, and many driver assistance features. Now, the tasteful interior features a 12.8 inch infotainment touchscreen that is standard, which can recognize voice commands. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard features and all models also come with a wireless smartphone charging pad. A secondary 12.3 inch display serves as a digital instrument panel and a head up display is available that can project driving directions via the augmented reality navigation system. All models are five seaters and have a large cargo volume of 59.2 cubic feet with the seats folded. 
Optional features include front massaging seats, four zone automatic climate control system, onboard air purifier, adjustable air suspension that can raise the EQE SUV by an inch for greater ground clearance, and a rear axle steering system that can swing the rear wheels up to 10 degrees in either direction to assist in maneuvering. Now, the EQE SUV is about as luxury as they come. And finally, the most expensive vehicle on this list as far as starting price goes, this is the Polestar 3, which is the third release in the lineup of Volvo spin-off EV brand, and it's Polestar's first ever SUV model. The Polestar 2 is their successful sedan, so the Polestar 3 SUV is coming in with big expectations. Now, the exterior design has a sleek high-tech look with optimized airflow for greater aerodynamics, a panoramic sunroof, frameless door mirrors, a rear light bar, and a flush side profile. I actually spent a few hours with a Polestar 2 sedan a couple years ago, and my impressions of that vehicle can be summarized as high quality, solid fit and finish, and attention to detail. And it seems that the Polestar 3 will continue that with its Scandinavian minimalism, its integrated technology, and mindful materials. It comes standard with many impressive features, such as adaptive cruise control with lane centering, a 25 speaker stereo system, a power rear lift gate, three zone automatic climate control system, onboard air purifier, and soft closing doors. The interior features a 14 and a half inch center vertical display with Google built-in apps, a nine inch driver display, and even a head up display that shows driving information such as speed, navigation, and warnings projected onto the windshield. Unfortunately, just like the Polestar 2, for its high price tag, it doesn't offer the best range, with it maxing out at 300 miles on a full charge on the long-range dual-motor version, while the optional performance pack comes with a 0-60 to speed of 4.6 seconds that brings the range down to 270 miles. Now, the good news is it's capable of up to fast 250 kilowatt speeds at a DC fast charging station, which matches the Tesla Model Y. The Polestar 3 is shaping up to be a serious contender in the high-end SUV space. That wraps up my top 10 brand new electric vehicles coming in 2023 that I'm most excited for. Which EV are you looking forward to the most this year? Let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and share with others if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more tech and EV videos like this in the future. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.